Real life street stars, man. We in here with T Boss. Cash money in the building, man. Talk to us. How you doing? How y'all doing? I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, T Boss <laughs> in the building, man. You know the, the women are shining crazy when it comes to this hip hop, this rap shit right now. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know uh, we know that you are the newest signee for Cash Money. Mm -hmm. We see the story. We see three eight. That's a that's a date that you put out there. Tell us about that date. Yeah, March 8th is the day that I dropped my new single, Pick a Side, and it comes with the music video. That's my first drop ever with my label, Cash Money. So, now, it's real big. Now, when you say Pick a Side, what are we talking about? Because that, you know, niggas say Pick a Side, it can mean a lot of different things. What, what is your definition of picking a side? Um, like, stand on what you stand on, believe in what you believe in. Don't let nobody try to, you know, dictate your moves or how you want to live your life or the things you want to do, you know. And people who try to play both sides, you know, let them know they got to stay over there, you know. Can't come fucking with what you got going on, you know, like that. Now, let me ask you this. Let's say if you was into it with whoever. It could be a nigga, female, or whatever, and they just happen to rap. And you had a videographer. <laughs> Would you make him pick a side? Like you can't shoot up, you can't shoot that. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. So do you, you feel like it is petty to make like yeah. the niggas behind the scenes pick a side? Cause that happens. Yeah, it do, but nah, I ain't with all that. Um, you know, like I'm just going through your music, right? And uh right now I can't find nothing. You know what I'm saying? Online. Is it just like uh you know, I see the single coming. Is it like the first single that you pushing, or yeah, is it? That's the first one. Yeah. Well, I've had, more, I have, I've had previous ones, but this is the one they're gonna put out with my label. So they took everything down and they're gonna put this out. Okay, that makes a lot of sense because yeah. I'm going through your page and I'm hearing <laughs> freestyles and I'm hearing all, t I'm hearing you with all different type of, you know what I'm saying? I seen you on a drill beat. Yeah. I seen you on some sliding shit. I seen you on some. Like you kind of uh, got up. a lot of different styles. What What is your favorite style when you when you making that music? Um, I don't really have a specific favorite. I like all different styles. I like different genres of music already just to listen to. So to make it myself, it just be even better. But I don't have a specific, like, one that I really, really like. I just like whatever I'm on at the time to make as much of it as I can and then move on to whatever I can hear myself doing next. Yeah. So. What makes you different than the females in this rap game right now? Um, I think I just have a, I have a, um, more vers I'm more versatile. Um, I think that uh, I could do different, I could do different, I like different styles, different styles. Um, and I make really, really, like real, real complete songs, you know, real good music. Not saying that they don't, but it is a difference though. So, so I gotta ask you, like, how long was you grinding? And you're from Baton Rouge, right? Yeah, I'm from Baton Rouge. And everybody know Baton Rouge ain't nothing to play with, right? Yeah. So, and from from our perspective, you like the first female that I've seen that been signed out of Baton Rouge. Yeah. Number one, when, when you got signed, you being a female artist from the city, did that motivate people or did they hate on you? Like, what did you experience when it happened? Um, I got a lot of good feedback, actually. I ain't seen too much hate, but you know, you never know. People be sitting back just watching. You never know. But as far as like, when, that, when I went up on my social media with it, I got a lot of good feedback. Like, a lot of people was happy for me. I got a lot of good phone calls and, you know, people talking through people. So I ain't really hitting nothing too bad. Yeah, that's less live. I gotta ask though, like, what was the song that you felt like got it done for you? Like, what was the song that made that you felt like made them say, "Oh, I gotta sign her." Pick a side. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So this been out. It's been out, but nah, you just repackaging it. Yeah, yeah. Got you, got you. Yeah, they just made me like add more to it. Just do it. I did a lot of actually different stuff to it, but I had made a video rapping a verse. Yeah. And, yeah. So for you, right? You like I said, you're the first female that we know of that then actually been signed out of Baton Rouge. Do you? Did you come up with a group? Did you did you rap with anybody or did you just do a dolo the whole time? Nah, I just did dolo and I did it with Black Rain. That was it. Okay. My, with uh, my manager Chip. Got you. Yeah. So t t talk to me about like some of the people that's in your corner. Who who helped produce some of your shit? Who who's the nigga that shot the videos? Who okay, who's uh, behind you? you feel okay, me? my producer, his name's Sinister. Um, legit looks shot my video. Mr. Eric and Miss Lisa. They were legit looks. Um, my my uh, engineers is Reed and um, Laura. My managers is Miss Erica and Chip. Um, I'm with Slim and Bird, Cash Money. That's really my team, you know? And my big brother, Rudy. Yeah. How, how was it for you growing up in Baton Rouge? It was cool. Um, you know, a lot of decisions I made, you know, put me through things that I probably ain't had to go through, you know, just being a kid growing up. But it was, it was straight, you know? Can't complain about it. Can you tell, give me a good time and give me a bad time growing 
Um, a good time down there, like when I was younger. Yeah. Um, I guess I could say the best time down there probably just be maybe the holidays. You know, sometimes you know we being with family, they be big for me. You know. Um. In the bad times, you know, taking losses, losing my friends, my family members, people I grew up with, stuff like that. Yeah, that was always hard, and it was always repetitive, you know. So, yeah. Be, being that you know you from Baton Rouge, you know it's a it's a ton of cr crazy talent that it came from there. Yeah. Did you have a particular artist that you looked up to, or that you just felt like this is the person I want to emulate? <clears throat> no, not really. I just liked a lot of different artists, you know, that was from down there, but I necessarily never really looked up to no no rapper or no artist like that. But I always did like, you know, a lot of different music. Right. Yeah. But I just been rapping for so long, you know, been just making my own music for so long. I just make just motivate myself, you know. How long you been making music? Since I've been five. Damn. Yeah. Damn. So you so you been like it was it like one of those things like music ran through y'all family and you had it play an instrument or like you were just rapping since five? Nah, I just, um, like my family, they like music, you know, so I hear a lot of music going here and there, like to places and stuff. And I just, I don't know, it just gravitated to me just to start making my own. So that's what I just chose to do. It wasn't really like nobody else in my family really was doing it. Yeah. Not like that, nah. So I asked everybody from Baton Rouge this question, right? Because at one point, New Orleans had the wave. It wasn't, it's like everybody coming out of Louisiana was from New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And then somewhere along the line, it seemed like Baton Rouge just took it and ran yeah. with it. And it been going crazy ever since that. We got Rob 49 now, but yeah. it's been a lot of just people coming from Baton Rouge specifically. Why do you think that is? What is, is there a difference in sound? Do you feel like, do y'all have a different style? Like, why do y'all feel like y'all got the wave right now? Um, yeah, I think we do have a different sound. Uh, and it's just a lot of talent down there. And it's kind of got harder to start overlooking it, you know, because it just was so many rappers. There's so many rappers down there. There's so much talent down there. So I just feel like, you know, people people going hard like me, trying to get known and heard like me. So they just pushing their button, trying to go. And so you can't really deny a good talent, you know? So I think it just was that. They just couldn't look over it no more, for real. Who was your favorite cash money artist of all time? Wayne. Yeah. yeah. Have you had the pleasure to meet him? No. Not yet. All right. Boosie or Webby? Boosie. <laughs> B-O-O-S-I-E. No. Yeah. Uh, they... Who had the hardest verse on Wipe Me Down? Fox. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Who is the biggest cosign that you feel like you've had so far? Besides, obviously, Cash Money, which is the biggest. Just my label, Black Rain. Black Rain? Yeah. Shout out Black Rain. Tell us about Black Rain, man. Oh, Black Rain came so far. <laughs> Damn, Black Black Rain came far, bro. We here now. He's up. Yeah. Bro, we from... What side of New Orleans got the best food? I mean, not New I'm sorry, Baton Rouge. Yeah, Rouge's. man. Come on, man. Baton Rouge, my bad. Baton Rouge. What side of Baton Rouge? They got, a, on the north side, they got Tony's. On the south, we got, like, University of Seafood. They yeah. good. They got some good food. Yeah. And we got like the restaurants, like they be on the other side, like Parrains and uh, what the what they call? I forgot the name of the other one. A sandwich, like yeah. all that on the other side. And they got stabs. It, it just run through they everywhere. You got good food everywhere around that place. So um, I'm hearing that you in high school was a big time hooper. Yeah. Okay. High school, middle school, elementary school. So that. Did you have ever ever have uh, aspirations of going to the WNBA yeah. or? Is, so what happened? What happened? I just, I was supposed to go to college and play ball and I, my grandmother died and my dude got killed. So I just, when I got to school, like I wasn't hooping like when I first got in cause I missed trials. So I just school, like basketball always kept me in school since I was little, like every, like every, every year. So when I got to college and did that little semester and I wasn't playing, I just stopped going. And I was like, I'm just focus on my rap Yo, and just you, take that. Do you still follow the game? Yeah, I still play. <laughs> what, what do you think about, um? Was it that girl, Caitlyn? Caitlyn that white from, girl that be just from a uh, Yukon. I mean, yes, they be going crazy she shooting nice. threes. Yeah, she, she nice. Cr she like but I'm mean, LSU though. Don't talk about you say uh, what? LSU. <laughs> <laughs> LSU for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. We, we we ride with LSU. Yeah. We ride. Who you think got it this year? When when the when the tournament start because that's coming up. It's March. I just want LSU to go. LSU yeah, back to back all the way. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um. 
So we got the single, like you say, that's coming on the eighth, mm -hmm. right? The video is dropping eight too. Yeah. Okay. So is that that's your first introductory introductory to, to the, the world? Now you are on Cash Money. So if you could do any song with somebody on Cash Money, who would it be? Wayne. For sure. Yeah. 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 What what, what song? What what would that song sound like? How would you come? Cause you we gonna go. We gonna rap fast on that. Yeah. We gonna yeah. We gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. Now. I can just, hear it. Just listening to like. Some of your lyrics, you be coming up with some witty shit. Yeah. You be saying some 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 witty shit, and you got an aggressive flow. What do you think is one of the most potent lines you'd never spit? Mm, so many, I can't. I can't. Just give them one for I the honest say. for the day. They don't know nothing about you. Give them just one little tidbit, cause you be saying some, you be going off, man. You be going off. Man, you put me on the spot with this, dog. Uh. Oh, all right. I can say this one. So. I have I have, I made this rap about like doing interviews. Yeah. So I guess I could just say that. So I was like, don't want to do interviews. I'ma think I'm not outspoken. And then my it's a question that triggered my emotions. So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so that I'm gonna tell you what that means. Uh yeah. I ain't nervous in that, you know, but yeah. it's just I got I be having a lot going on. Yeah. So I that's why I write so much and I make my songs and I rap because I don't really like talking about, you know, stuff. Right. So, yeah. But in your music, do you happen to have any? Because, like, you know, rest in peace, you just talked about, uh, you, you know, your man going, you're dying, whatnot. Um, do you have songs that actually speak to some of the, the struggles of Baton Rouge? Yeah. You do? Okay, mm -hmm. so that's going to be on the album? Uh, yeah, most likely. Yeah, it depends sure. on how they pick it and which way it go. But, yeah, hopefully it do get on it. What, what, what was it like losing your your, your man? Uh, it was a lot. It was hard. Um, but I feel like uh, he proud, you know, and I, you know, I came for so. But it was hard though; it was difficult. Um, but I, I did good through it though. It was just difficult, yeah. frustrating. What, what, what did you do to get over it? Like, can you give anybody any advice if they're going through that to get over that? Yeah, just find something that you love and just keep doing it. Keep God first. Stay prayed up. Tighten up. Structures, make righteous decisions, don't crash out, you know, and just keep God first. You being, you know, you being a woman doing music, right? What did you do to protect yourself? Like, did you keep a, a, a tight knit group around you? Like, how did you, you know what I'm saying? You. Yeah, I just, I, I just stayed G'd up. Like, I ain't let nobody mess over me. I ain't let nobody handle me. I ain't let nobody tell me no anything. I made, you know, made the best decision that I, if, if, if it wasn't, I thought it was, you know, and I didn't let nothing like discourage me, you know, like, or if a person thought that was holding me back or something, I, you know, not, and I'm gonna show you now, like whether I'm intentionally showing you or whether you just happen to see, you know, just, just staying alive and just keep pushing. Like, yeah. that was the main thing. <clears throat> So now that you're signed and I'm pretty sure worldwide success is right around the corner for you. Thank are there you. any dudes that's coming out the woodworks? Like, you remember me? Remember back in the day? I always liked yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, all over Instagram. Maybe in the DM? Yeah. <laughs> so how, how do you handle them? I don't talk. I don't reply to that. I just look at it and be laughing. Because like, it's, my DM is funny. I get a good laugh out them every day. Would you ever shoot your shot at somebody? Yeah. Because okay. really don't give a damn. She just <laughs> posted a nigga. I want him. My God. <laughs> Bro, married and everything. <laughs> so, so, you know, like I said, the music is the music is fire, you know. Thank you. Let me ask you this, like, um, people get in their head when it comes to music. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times they'll hold themselves back from dropping music because mm -hmm. they are perfectionists or things like that. What was your approach when you was coming up? You was like, man, I'm I'm going to the studio, like, we dropping this night. Like, what yeah. did you do? Yeah, I was the same way. I got a lot, like, um, coming up, I used to drop a lot, you know, and then when I would make songs that I feel like didn't really meet the the last one, it wasn't better than the last thing I dropped, I'd hold it. Or somebody else would here and they'd be like, man, that's raw, put it out, you know, but I'm very hard on myself. I'm my biggest critic. Like, I'm too, too hard on myself. Like, I just got to the point where I could just go in the studio and not worry about you know, just writing it and making it perfect. Like, go in there and do your shit, and it's going to come out real good anyway. Like, you don't got to, do, you know, critique every single piece of it because you're really doing it. Like, I just, got, I just got like that. But I don't know how I got over it, though. Listening to my manager, he keep getting on me about it. Yeah. It's taking too long on songs sometimes, but they come out great, though. 
So when when it comes now, you know, now that you sign, I'm sure you got producers knocking down their door to work with you. Yeah. So now what do you look for like when it comes producers, take note. What do you look for <laughs> when it comes to like a beat? Like when you trying to make a song, what are you looking for? Uh I just want the beat to talk to me and I want it to be that that sound, that industry sound, that that, that nationwide sound. Not and every beat not gonna sound the same, but they all could have that nationwide sound that that hear sound, you know? Yeah. So that's what I be looking for when I try to listen to that beats and get them any kind of style though, as long as it's like that. Um, as far as like the ladies in hip hop, like I said, I feel like they the ones that's going the hardest right now as far yeah, as putting out songs, hits, all that type of shit. Um, when it comes to your hit making ability, do you feel like you got one in the tuck that can go all yeah, the way? Yeah, I feel like all my songs, they that's all. Dope. That's dope. Yeah. So, so you working on an album right now? Well, I'm just recording. So yeah, basically working on the album. Yeah. Working I'm just album. recording a lot. Working on singles and shooting videos right now, trying to get me out there gotcha. visually. Let's say they, they come to you and they say, man, you, you ain't no budget, man. Pick whatever you want. Ooh. Who, What producer you getting? Who's shooting the video? Well, it's a couple of different producers I'd be getting. Like I probably, um, like I have some in-house producers, Boo on the track. Um, Sinister Heat, one of my in-house producers. Um, I have a couple beats from a uh, Kodak producer, his name Russell. I love to get a lot from beats from him. And I'm going to get for reading, Lord, for the, for the uh, engineering. And yeah, that's yeah. probably, yeah. That's live, that's live. Um, so you out here, you got the single coming, 3-8. What mm -hmm. is another song for those who don't know you? Obviously, they, you know, it's going to come out. What can they be looking forward to? Like, what song? And you can just name a song, or you you're not, you know what I'm saying. But we already know the other song coming on the eighth. Is there another song that people can be looking out for? Yeah, I have another single coming behind that called "And What." Mm. I'm not sure exactly what date or it's gonna drop, but it's by, it's following that and the video. It's already done. That's what's up. It's shot by the same people too. That's what's up. So, are, are you able to chop it up with Slim, with Birdman, them, yeah. like folks? How, how did I know that guy feel crazy? Don't it? yeah. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, it be feeling crazy all the time, really. Yeah. Yeah, I'm used to it now, though, but at first I was like, dang, they came far. And then they right there from the city, you know? Yeah. 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 Um, you know, like, for you, what does success look like going forward now that you, you know, because being signed is, for a lot of people, that's that's a big milestone. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For you, what do you want to obtain? You want to go platinum, diamond, you want to hit the yeah. awards, you want to grant, like, Everything. what is what is that? what does that look like for you? I want everything. I want to go to the wars. I want to go number one. I want diamond. I want everything. Platinum. I go all of it. Whatever. I just want to, just all my songs to, you know, get the attention that they supposed to get, you know, and the award that they're supposed to get. And I just want to see my family happy, you know, and them doing their thing, get their dreams, whatever they want to do. Yeah. That's hard. That's hard. Um, do you got any shout outs? Yeah, shout out to my manager Chip and Miss Erica. And shout out to my label Cash Money and Black Rain. Shout out to my family. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for having me. Yeah, for sure. Uh, shout out to God. Yeah. This. Um, shout out to my big brother, my twin, Trish. Um, that's about it. That's and, what's up. And all my people that's in heaven, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. Shout out to them, man. Yeah. We praying for them. Man, shout out to Swag also. He put yeah, the play together, to man. Shout out my boy Swag, <laughs> Top and R. You know what I'm saying? Going crazy. Um, and before we we get out of here, you know, we always like to try to promote, you know, the, the under, you know, the people that might not be seen. Like, who is somebody? Let's just say a, another female artist from your city, or or just who you feel like is dope that should be getting some shine that ain't getting some shine right now. Um. Um, or do you have anybody on your team? It don't got to be, you know what I'm saying, just somebody that you work with that you want to highlight before you get out of here. Yeah, I got a label mate named Lucci. He go okay. hard. He from Baton Rouge, too. Um, there's a lot of good artists down there, bro. I ain't lying. It's a lot. But, yeah. That's, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. Well, you already know, you know, uh, T-Boss, man, we look forward to everything you got coming up. 3-8, tell them again, what is the name of the single that's coming up? March 8, 2024, y'all be on the lookout for my new single, Pick a Side, in the video. Side. It's coming down. It's going down. And you already yeah. know this is the best part. T-Boss, you are a real life street star, man. Yeah. Thank you.
real life street star.